What's going on YouTube? It's Jake with Backwoods Media and today we're going to talk about calibration frames. How to take them and what they do. Calibration frames are an important aspect to astrophotography. They basically help your night sky images look better while stacking. There's four types of frames that I take in any given night. It's light frames, then we have dark frames, flat frames, and bias frames. To go into further detail, Uncle Cletus will go over them. Howdy y'all! Let's look at these calibration frames closer. We will start with the light frames. These are simply your photos of the night sky or pictures of your subject. You want to take as many light frames or pictures of your subject as possible. I like to take at least 200 frames. Here is an example of our light frame taken at a 30 second shutter speed and a 3200 ISO. When we are done taking our light frames, we begin to take our dark frames. To take these frames, we simply just put the cap on the telescope and all camera settings plus the outside temperature must match the light frames. Like you see in this example here. And the settings are still the same. Shutter speed 30 seconds and ISO 3200. We take at least 25 dark frames. You know, the purpose of dark frames is to capture the random electronic thermal noise from your camera sensor. If you expose an image for a period of time with the lens cap on, only noise is recorded without any signal. The circuitry in your digital camera produces unwanted noise that can degrade the quality of your final image. When we are done taking our dark frames, we then start taking our flat frames. Flat frames are basically photos of an overly illuminated white surface. You can achieve this frame by pointing your telescope at a bright light and rubber banding a white shirt over the end of your telescope. Don't forget to take your telescope lens cap off now. You then turn your histogram on on your camera and change only the shutter speed until the peak of the histogram is 50 to 70 percent over to the right. Like in our example here with the camera settings. Then we take at least 25 of these photos. The purpose of light frames is to correct vignetting, gradients, and dust and grime particles in your final image. Now, when we're done taking our flat frames, we take the, our camera off the telescope and put the cap on the camera and change the shutter speed to as fast as possible, just as like in our example here. It's like one in four thousandth of a second. Whoo-wee, that's fast. These are our bias frames. We take at least 50 bias frames. The purpose of bias frames is to reduce the noise in your image like in taking dark frames, but bias frames more specifically, they capture the fixed pattern noise. No matter what camera you are taking your images with, the signal to noise ratio is often the primary deciding factor between a good image and a great one. Yeah! Now, I hope this video helps you in taking your astrophotography calibration frames. Here's a synopsis of all the calibration frames that you can screen shoot and you can use on your next astrophotography trip. I want to thank you all for watching. Uncle Cletus and I want to thank you for watching the video and until next time, keep on snapping those photos.